Reptiles exist on every continent except for Antarctica. They're one of the most diverse species of animal in the world. Have you ever wondered what makes a reptile a reptile? My name is Josh and here's Teddy, our Fijian crested iguana. And today we're gonna run through what classifies a reptile. You'll often hear reptiles being described as cold-blooded or ectothermic. Technically, reptiles are ectothermic poikilotherms. Ectothermic meaning they primarily gain their heat through their environment, and poikilotherm meaning their body temperature adjusts depending on the environment that they are in. This means they can't generate their own body heat. They need to get it from an external source. Check out Teddy eating one of his favorite foods, hibiscus flowers. All species of reptiles, whether that be turtles, tortoises, crocodilians, lizards, or snakes, all share one thing in common, and that's what we call keratin. Although keratin doesn't separate reptiles from other species, it is something that they all have in common, whether it be a shell, or scoots on the back of a crocodile, or scales of a snake. Here we have Darth. Now, Darth is a black-headed python. These guys have an extremely slow metabolism, but reptiles are one of the toughest animals in the animal kingdom. Certain reptiles can go up to a year, maybe more, without eating any food at all. Now, endotherms, like us and other mammals, we have to eat occasionally up to three times a day to be able to stay healthy. You guys might be wondering, why does he have a black head? So what these guys will do is they'll hide all of their body and then they will stick that black head which absorbs the sunlight. Now they're able to then thermoregulate that warm blood throughout their body and stay completely safe. And here we have Tyrion, our American alligator. Now I'm gonna clear up a little bit of a myth. Some of you may have seen crocodiles or alligators sitting out on the banks with their mouth open. Well, the myth is that this is a sign of aggression when in fact they're unable to sweat. So they'll sit there with their mouth open and this is a way of expelling the heat. They can also use this to warm themselves up. This is called thermoregulation. How cool are reptiles? There's more than 10,000 different species of reptile in the world. Here in Australia, we are home to around 14% of them and we are lucky enough to be home to the world's largest reptile, the saltwater crocodile. These three are just some of the reptiles that call Australia Zoo home. I wish I had time to show you all the reptiles we have here, but I hope you've learned a little bit more about what a reptile is. See you later. Have a look at these little beauties. Woohoo! Click on the links to see more videos just like this. And don't forget to subscribe.